this thing here is being built, which is great. Uh, she's kind of just slapping the air, but it's being built, I promise. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to another episode on Settlement Survival with me, Spacefish, and welcome back to our beautiful teeny tiny village. We did, in the last episode, get started out on, uh, well, everything that you see right here. We are in the middle of nowhere, basically, just with a few resources and people trying to survive, trying to build a beautiful city in this beautiful, beautiful countryside, gathering all the materials that we need, getting food harvested so people uh, actually don't starve to death, getting houses set up so nobody does have to live on the streets, and hopefully, hopefully building one beautiful, flourishing civilization. And we've made some little amounts of progress already on that in the last episode, but we are going to go and continue on that today, First and foremost, getting going on that gatherer's hut, which has been proposed to us by the game, and then we will slowly but surely go from there. But before we get going today, if you're new around here, and if you do happen to enjoy this very episode, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and smash that subscribe button right down below. We're still a very, very small channel, and every single person really just does count so much. So thank you so much if you did that. But without further ado, let's go and get ourselves right into the game. First and foremost, actually getting time playing, because we do need to get to building here. There is a whole lot to take care of. Also, really wondering where that sound is coming from. Can you guys locate that one? I can't. Maybe it's the river. I don't know. But... With that said, you can see a lot of people currently do not have any sort of homes whatsoever. And I'm actually wondering, okay, so does everyone have a profession now? I guess that is the case. We've got vendors, laborers, foresters. I'm not quite sure where we can actually see if there's any unemployed people. We've got 15 adults, 6 kids. Um, oh, you can actually say who's supposed to do what. Okay, and then we've got like six, eight, nine, eleven. Okay, so not everyone does yet have a job, but in fact, we have actually really covered a lot of people there. I mean, you know, builders and everything is kind of dynamic, I guess. But okay. So, what we do want to make happen for the time being is a gatherer's hut. And the interesting part is that more harvestable plants will grow around mature trees. But generally speaking, I think there's gen generally a ton of stuff to gather out here. You can see, like, all these goodies. Can't click to see what is what, but this marker, I think, indicates that it's generally a rather good location for a gatherer's hut. So we probably do want to place that out there. And that would be this one right here. So they'll gather wild vegetables, agave, and herb within the structure's range. Wild vegetables will generally grow near mature trees. I'm a bit wondering about this little, like... Is there a little plot where they plant that by themselves as well? Ooh, look at the amount of stuff to be gathered out there. Isn't that beautiful? We will go and plant... well, plunk that in right there. You are constructing gatherer's hut, which is an area structure. Gatherers can gather nearby food herbs in the garden and nearby area. It's also possible to obtain crop seeds that can be grown in the field. Uh, does the game mean this little field right here, or does it mean like we can get crop seeds that we plant in these fields? I'm not too sure. I mean, the thing is that, if you remember, we currently don't really have any interesting seeds unless we want to plant chilies, which... Well, evidently is not really quite the goal, so I hope that will actually enable us to go and get some different things going. On other, well, in other news rather, I guess we probably also do somewhat want some sort of road access out here, right? So, maybe we pull like a little bit of a dirt road through the forest? The thing is, it's not really that easy to spot where the trees are actually sat and it also does take something or does it take something i'm not 
It doesn't look like it. Actually, okay, so maybe not. But it increases citizens' movement speed uh, by 25%, and apparently at not much of any cost, which is actually quite nice. So we do probably want to make sure to pull these through here, at least for the time being, so that, you know, a citizen can move around a little quicker, around town and around everyone else, of course, and then, uh, well, you know, with some hard work, we should at some point, hopefully, then also be able to make this proper stone road. We can pave stone roads in large areas. Not sure what is the difference between stone ground and... is it... Hmm. Not sure. Oh, maybe like where people are not so like below here, for example, to make this not look green anymore, I guess. I suppose that's the way that that is. Okay, and then... Alright, cool. Quite happy with that. So, I'm not sure how this bit here is now going to work, if they're actually going to... Oop. Uh... If they're going to build it, or what's the deal right there, we will see, I guess. Or is it like, does it already... No, I mean, that's like very spotty for a road, is it? I would imagine that that actually gets properly built by someone in a minute. So, maybe we... Oop, that's the that's also the wrong key. Uh, maybe we just speed things up a little and see what happens. So, a few people are logging around, which is, you know, decent, I would argue. I'd like to get myself out of building mode here. Uh, this guy here will plant saplings and periodically chop down mature trees. Okay. Ah, right. So, yeah, my builder... Well, my workers aren't just chopping away. This guy's just kind of managing things by himself, right? Then we do have all these houses here, which are slowly but surely being built. I think we will leave the guys to it and let them build for the time being. Because it's quite important that I would argue that our... Uh, people actually have somewhere to live, especially since this is only really covering like 16 people. How many did we have? Well, we had 21, so we in fact need a few more houses. Um, which technically we may be able to support a few more houses, even given the amounts of resources that we have. So let's see about that. We may squeeze in some more, but for the time being, I think we'll put the focus on them actually finishing this work right here. Now, these guys, I mean... Uh, I really kind of want to throw some seeds out there, but it's not like, you know... I don't know. It's not like we have any, so I'm not sure about this. This guy here, I guess, is planting a tree, which is beautiful. And... Well, there's a whole lot of people doing a whole lot of nothing. Slacking off. Re, Don't just slack off. What do you mean? Okay, well, I mean, these guys are not working unless we're going back to Frostpunk, so... Just had that remark in Timberborn as well, but that's the way that is. And it's beautiful. Look at just the house structure being pulled up in the background there, and then it goes boop. And there goes a new house. And then there's another few occupants that can go and live in their beautiful new home. And so, slowly but surely, every person starts getting their own little home. Which is nice, but the thing is that these homes are not filled to the brink, because I guess it's only, like, family by family that gets filled in. So we may, in fact, need even more houses than we were thinking we would. So we need to see about that bit. Now, what I would actually like to do... So I would like to instruct some people to fell some trees, like these here, that are very much in the way, I have to say. Um, probably these as well. We just make some space for our expansion work, and we'll also ask them to gather the respective plants down there as well, of course. Ooh. Hello. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Um, generally speaking... I have to say, we need to also continue looking at bringing in, like, uh, stone and iron ore, so we may go and also instruct people to go and grab some of this stuff as far away as it may bring them again, which uh, I think already the last time uh, brought some issues with it. I don't quite remember what it was anymore, Well, there was certainly something, so we do probably want to be aware of that. But, uh... Oh, it's beautiful, you know, these guys are going around planting some trees, there's some trees being uh, knocked down in other places, 
up here, of course, because we do want to make some space. Also, we probably want to gather these plants right here that are very much in the way, too. That could finally give us the seeds that we want. I don't know. I don't know how to get the seeds. Still a bit of a question mark. Maybe it's also this. I don't know. Um, I am... Oopsies. No, 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 no. We don't want to turn these off. 15th time in a row. I don't quite know about these roads. I, I feel like these need to be built. I'm not sure if and when or how it happens. I mean, it doesn't seem to... I don't know, maybe that already counts as a road, but if it already counted as a road, I would assume that the citizen would actually use it as a road instead of running all over the place, because it makes their travels more efficient. So maybe it doesn't actually count. But there's these guys now going to collect some of that rock as well, which is beautiful. We do have a good bit of space around here now, which is actually quite neat, I would say. going to go add a little bit of dirt road to this end of the whole thing, and then... Well, I mean, the question kind of is... If we do maybe want to build some level of interim housing here, it could be useful. It is also quite massive, though. I've got nowhere to put this. I mean, this is quite, quite mad indeed. We could put it around here, though. Oh, there's the... I'm always a bit confused by these arrows, I have to say. Because, you know, one would feel that the arrows are where people actually enter the house at the end of the day, right? There's no entrance there, though, is there? Oh, no, there is. There is. Okay. Now, the question is, how did you once more actually go through the different building variants? I do not remember that bit. Uh, how do you remember? No! <laughs> oh, here. F. Okay, do we have different styles for this thing too? Okay, no, it does seem to be one style and one style only. So maybe we place it like here, and that way everybody has a home for the time being, and then we can add proper homes as we go. I just kind of want to make sure that people actually have, like, you know, homes. It's probably something you want to make sure that is the case. So. Gonna go make some space around there as well, and uh, well, that should be fine for the time being. So we can get time playing again. No, no reason to stop here. Then we'll just speed things up a little bit as we go. Now, still would like some seeds other than chilies, I have to say, but maybe well, there's not an option. So we'll be planting chilies, I guess. Uh, very weird and worrying indeed. Another thing that I think we actually wanted to do at the end of last episode was getting a uh, fishing thingy going, right? So we can actually, yes, a fishing dock. So we can go and start using what we have around here, which is, oh, fish. Do want to make sure. So go and make use of those, I would argue. Now I am a worried, I have to say, of placing it right on top of the fish before we end up in a situation where we can't uh, properly fish anymore. Now, in terms of the area of effect, I'm also a bit worried, but maybe we place it like out there and we go and uh, knock down a few trees around the place as well, so you know that that actually works and we go and gather all the plants that are like chilling in that general vicinity, uh, vicinity, not vicinity, and that should hopefully help. Now, the gatherer's hut is in progress. You can see that that is actually uh, getting all the materials in there now, so that's beautiful. And uh, we will go and... Ah, there we go. Why, why did they not add the dirt road in the first place? I am not sure. We'll go and add some dirt roads there, or at least plans for dirt roads, because I'm not sure this is the way that it's supposed to be. Is it just these, like, little spotty areas, and there's nothing to be built there? I'm not sure. Zero births secured last season, which is all fine, I guess. But the interim home is also, uh, you know, slowly but surely being taken care of. Space is being made, which is beautiful. 
We do have a good bit of food remaining for the time being, so I'm happy with that. The ore is a little bit on the lower end, I will have to say. So, you know, we just need to remember to send gatherers out every now and again, but I think there's also going to be better stuff like mines and everything out there at some point, so, you know. We'll see. This thing here is being built, which is great. Uh, she's kind of just slapping the air, but it's being built, I promise. <laughs> and uh, that is all coming together, which I like. And they're also already slowly but surely taking care of the fishing dock, which is beautiful, beautiful stuff indeed. I will go ahead and make sure that we do have a dirt road going that way as well. So that people have a fast way of traversing to there. And then that's hopefully going to happen. There's the gatherer's hut, which is beautiful. We do have two workers in that one now as well. And, uh, well, the chili seeds are kind of growing. Didn't really want it, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh... Not quite sure where you can see the seeds and stuff, to be honest. Let me have tools, alcohol, trade goods. I'm not sure. I am not sure about like seeds at all, I have to say. Okay, anyways, um, you know, we do technically have another field which we could grow even more chilies in, but um, yeah, I don't know about that. So what we do have here now is this gatherer's hut, and I mean, they should technically be working on their own, right? So that should be fine. I'm not sure how many workers we still have. Three, to be honest. It would be good to have a sum down here. Or is there like an employed summary? Doesn't look like it. Okay, no, no change in population yet. Evidently, that it hasn't been too long since we've moved here. It's only like the fifth month, basically, but. If you look at that, um, I guess the laborers are maybe the unemployed people that just help on all the small tasks. Because like here, if we go here, we've got six, we've got uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. It doesn't make too much sense though, does it? Oh no, it does make sense. Because then we're at 16 and we've got 16 adults. I was looking at inhabitants, but the kids of course don't work. So I guess we do have a few people open that we can technically still use here in the fishing dock, for example. But we do probably also want them for, like, general knock trees down, gather things tasks. So that is something to keep in mind. I am really unsure I have to say about these roads, though. Not quite sure that's working the way that I... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. They need to actually be built. So that's why nobody's using them yet, and I guess it's a whole lot of an effort building them, and we've got, like, other building projects, which I suppose, like, the builders just prioritize these sorts of things. I, at least it's my guess right there. Uh, what we can do is actually get the reward for our gatherers. I, I almost forgot to click that button. Now, we do have that thing, the next thing is a hunter's hut. Getting more food and always important. Selected and resources. Hunters will hunt animals on the map and have chances to get cubs. And then we can, like, put them into a farm or something, or...? I'm not sure I understand the word cubs completely. I think it's like, like, baby animals, right? Is it? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. I may have absolutely the wrong idea here. But they will hunt the nearest animals for meat and leather. The question is, which one should we be hunting? Ooh, wow, there's a lot of animals right there. Not sure if that's like sheep or uh Wow, but that's like some okay. I feel like we should place the hunters hard like somewhere up here-ish. Um We are just gonna Oh it's covering actually the entire map. Cannot cross the river without bridges. Oh, capture animal cubs, which can be raised in the pasture. Okay. As a steady source of protein. Well, nice. But uh, I did actually... I did actually uh, think of the right word right there. But if they can just go across the entire map, is it even, like, does it even matter where I place it? I may as well just place it close to the village for now, right? I think we're going to do that then. So, um... I'm going to go place it right there for now. And we can maybe change the placement over time when we need more 
space in the city centre, but for the time being it's going to go right there. Jesus Christ, there is a lot of construction projects. I totally get why we are not moving on with the streets currently, I have to say. So in terms of the resource monitor, I mean, we do still have some. We don't really have that much, though. Uh, in terms of stone and iron, of course, is what I'm talking about. So I'd really like to go and get people to gather some more. On the other hand side, it's, it's really not like we have that much in terms of resources currently, right? That's like... Really the main issue here, we really don't have a plethora of resources currently to, uh, no, not resources, but, well, human resources. We don't have a plethora of people to work with currently, basically. What I do want to do, though, given that I think a tree was, uh, brought, well, not brought out of the way, a tree was taken out of the way here, we can actually just go and pull this one straight through. A little bit more efficient, I suppose. That way people won't have to run around that much. I love how this one bit here got constructed and nothing else, basically, though. Cool, this thing is coming along as well. Oh, no. It is not. I forgot that we were in need of planks for this stuff. So... I'm supposing we will pause construction here for the time being, because we don't have planks yet. And I would just go, you know, and get like a chopping house, I guess? No. Do we even have researched what we require here? I feel like we don't even have uh, the stuff researched that we need. Technology, level one. Six technology points. So, I mean, we do technically have research already unlocked. But I guess we would need, like, a sawmill or something, right? Maybe not. Where would that be at? Oh, here, sawmill. What do you mean, activate? It doesn't tell me they cost... More efficient at making domestic fuel than the chopping house, also. Same function, but piled up by water, thus greater efficiency. Yeah, but what does it cost? I think we're not going to research that yet. I'm kind of worried about messing things up, and then the tutorial requires something totally different from us, so... Oh, wait. Laborers. Yeah, but what is a laborer? Is that just somebody who doesn't... I think it's just some... Oh, it may also just assign people over to laborers when I do tell them to collect stuff. Instead of, like, them doing their regular line of work. So that's maybe something to also keep in mind. Jesus Christ, though. These guys are cutting down so many more trees than they're actually planting. I hope that doesn't impact the amount of uh, wood and stuff at some point. It's like, holy moly. At the very least, this bit here is going to keep standing there so that these guys should hopefully continue collecting things. And look at that. It's a lot of things being collected. I'm loving that. I still would love... Oh! Ah! Flax! Yes, please. Uh, we're going to go. And... Uh, how do I turn this on? Oh, here. Like that. Yes. Werner! <laughs> Get going! <laughs> Beautiful. We're going to go and plant some flax, which should maybe still grow. It's July. It's probably not going to get taken care of this year, is it? Uh, we got the seeds now, but we're too late. And ooh, all those rows are being taken care of. That is beautiful. I love seeing that, most definitely. Making some good progress there. And most importantly, this thing is good to go, which is awesome. Because all the people that didn't have a home yet can just chill in there for the time being and then we'll eventually get them their own home as well. So that's awesome indeed, I would say. Now, Hunter's Hut is still being built, but should uh, soon be slapped away at successfully. Did you just leave and it's still being worked on? You just left. And it's still being worked on. I'm so confused. Well, yeah, this this thing is being built, basically. Ooh, and the chili. It's already being harvested, which is nice. I will take it, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. I, does it count as proper food? I mean, it's the chili. 
people just going to eat that and be happy? I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, so uh, that is uh, some nice progress right there, I have to say. It's definitely good. Nobody being homeless anymore, I'm quite happy with. And look at the amounts of streets that we're laying out here everywhere. Plus, the Hunter's Hut just got built, which is beautiful because that means we have got even more food flowing in. And we can go and grab our 400 silver coins now the chopping house is coming up which is interesting um i think this is just for like heating it's not for planks as far as i know so we need to see about that but we're definitely going to go stick to the tutorial for now we're going to go get that going we probably also need to make sure to watch uh, the city health and happiness and everything else so we will go and take a look at that uh, lots of kids grown up into adults as well, which is hopefully going to help on the amount of people we can throw at jobs. And, uh, well, we're going to move on from there. So, I would say, lots of progress made today. I am quite happy with that indeed. I hope you all are as well. And, uh, well, if you are, if you like the episode, please make sure to go ahead and smash that like button right down below. That would really mean the absolute world to me and really help out with the youtube algorithm and if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet also of course please make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button right down below as well as the bell icon right next to it in order to stay up to date on all those future upcoming episodes and help us out with our 1000 sub goal so thank you so much if you did that but without further ado also thank you so much for watching and i hope i will catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.